Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of B2Z. So I'm in, in one of my out route yards today. It's September 12, 2018, and I'm in Central Florida. Uh, it's about maybe 11 o'clock in the um, morning, and temperatures are about 80, 82 degrees. So um, just doing a mite check real quick. I did five weeks straight of mite treatments. Last week I was trying to check this hive, but it was kind of rainy and stormy and, and I wasn't able to check this one hive. I was able to check some other ones in, in this yard and so far so good. So I want to check this one too. And I figure I'd go ahead and put it on video and show you guys how I do it. Now, I like to follow the Randy Oliver method, which is um, doing the alcohol wash. Um, any other method, in my opinion, um, of mite monitoring is not effective. So I solely do the alcohol wash. So, you know, sugar streak might work for you. Um, watching the sticky board may work for you, but in my opinion, those uh, methods are not accurate and do not work well. So, we'll go ahead and uh, pop open this queen excluder off. I'm just gonna set that to the side. And first thing I want to do is what I like to do is look for the queen. Um, i <laughs> super afraid of shaking in a frame of brood into a box and scooping her up and putting her into the uh, mite treatment bin and uh, loading her up with alcohol and killing her. That's my biggest fear. So I'll go ahead and go through this real quick and see if I can find the queen and uh, put her in a queen clip. Okay, found the queen. Queen is right here. There's the queen right there. So I'll go ahead and grab a clip. And just put her right into the clip. Okay, there she is. Okay. So I'll just set the clip right on top of the box here. And now I'm looking for a frame that's got brood and preferably open brood. I know exactly where those frames were. I'm gonna go straight to those frames. Where the brood was that I know that had some open brood, which was one of these guys right here. Okay. All right. So this has got emergent brood and some eggs on that side. And this has got larva and some recently capped brood. Perfect frame. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this bin right here. And I'm just going to shake them right into here. One, two, and here you go. Three. So all we'll give this a quick look for cells. No cells on it. Okay. So all the young brood or nurse bees are going to stay right in there. Let's go ahead and see if we can address this some more. So all the nurse bees are going to stay right in there. And you know those are the nurse bees because they're not going to fly out. So the ones that fly out, they're not no longer nurse bees. You don't really want those. So i got my mic check bottle here. And keep on shaking them down so they don't crawl out. There we go. And we got a half a cup measuring. From the kitchen. <coughs> and what I'll do now is I'll just shake them down. 
and let them fall into the cup. Okay, now dump them in here. And then there's a line inside the cup there. And once I see that it's at about that line, I'll go in and start pouring in the alcohol. Okay. Sorry about that. We'll go ahead and cover them up. Close it up. Do a little swirl so they can all pass away quickly. And then the rest of these guys that are still in here, I'll go ahead and just dump back in. We'll go ahead and dump these guys back in right in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add some more alcohol. So the alcohol is at least halfway full, uh, halfway filled with this uh, inside this container. So this gives the, the mites, the bees to float a little bit more as you're swirling it and it lets the, the mites fall out easier. So don't be shy on the amount of alcohol that you're using and give it a little swirl. I'm swirling it. Now Randy Oliver says that most mites will fall out within like the first, like, I don't know, I think like 30 seconds he says, or 10 seconds, something really tiny. And he's right, they do. Okay, so we do have mites and this is after five treatments of oxalic acid. Okay, so we got one here, two, three, and then four. The rest of the little specks that you see on there are not varroa. So we have four mites and 300 bees. So a little over 1%. So I'll go ahead and mark this hive, and I'll recheck them again in about a month, and uh, go from there. Okay. So we just did the mite check and I got four mites and 300 bees. So, and I, this is after five treatments of acyclic acid vaporizer using the wand. And I still have four mites. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna check again in about a couple of weeks again. And I'm at 1%. Recommended treatment is about 2% or higher. So six, six mites and, and 300 bees. So I'm at four and that's the highest I really want to go. So when I recheck this again, if we're any higher, I'm definitely going to be checking. I'm going to retreat with oxalic acid. So um, that's how easy it is. So in order to finish this, now all we got to do is just go ahead and open this guy up. We're going to just drain off the bees. Try to recover all that alcohol, all right? Just throw the bees out. They're gone, see, they're gone. And then what I like to do, and again, this is not my idea. This is, I copied all this stuff from how Randy Oliver does it. So I'll go ahead and recycle all of the alcohol again. I'll put a, I carry Swifter pads with me all over the place because I use Swifter pads in my hives. So I'll go ahead and throw a Swifter pad inside the, uh, inside this, the funnel here so that I'm not putting in the mites back into the alcohol. This way they don't, they don't get introduced into another batch. And that's it. And that is how you do a Varroa mite check. It's super easy, super simple, super fast. Once you find your queen or you know you don't have a queen on, on top of your um, inside where you're going to pull from, then you can just scoop up your bees, put them into your container, fill it with the alcohol, 
swirl it around for about a minute, look at the bottom, count your mites, and you're done. Recover your alcohol, filter out the mites um, through, a, through a filter, and then you can reuse that alcohol. So this alcohol, I've probably used like maybe 20 or 30 times. You can see that it's slowly going away. Um, so I'll probably have to get another one soon. So Okay guys, so that's it for this video. That's how I check for Varroa mites. Um, if you like my video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give me a nice thumbs up. If you have any comments or suggestions or questions on how to do this, go ahead and leave them down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to um, go ahead and help you out. Um, if you guys have any other suggestions and other videos, again, post them down below. These videos I make for you. Um, so by subscribing, you guys really show me the support that you guys are enjoying these videos and it, it motivates me to make some more videos. So again, thanks for watching another video of B2C and until next time, take care.